direct spectral synthesis VCO from Greg's brain. It is based on the principle of additive synthesis where a waveform is constructed directly from an audio spectrum. An audio spectrum in this case with up to 1024 different sine waves. And modulating this spectrum generates a vast range of different sounds. There are eight modulation inputs, including two that are assignable. DSpec has two audio outputs, each with a separate volt per octave input, with a full eight octave range from A0 to C8. There's also a quantizer with built in and user defined scales. Let's see what it sounds like. The following clips give a much better idea of the range of sound you can get out of D-Spec. D-Spec really comes alive when you start adding modulation. Here I'm using LFOs from the Instruo Oc to modulate the odd even harmonic mix and the comb filter width. I should note that in this section of the clip, I'm actually using braids as a modulation input uh, into mod 1, which is normal to mod 2, so both voices are being modulated by braids at this point. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a quick overview of the D-Spec front panel. D-Spec is a two-voice oscillator, so it has dual audio outputs and a volt per octave input for each of those two voices. A third volt per octave input supports transposition in semitones up or down. There's a low-pass filter with CV control and an option to insert two kinds of noise, again under CV control. Another CV input provides control over the mix of the odd and even harmonics. In addition to the low pass filter, there's a comb filter with CV control over the comb width and a knob for setting the comb depth. Finally, there are two audio frequency modulation inputs, one for each of the two voices. The spectrum of the inputs modulates the spectrum of the outputs, creating all sorts of interesting effects. All interaction with the OLED display is via the clickable rotary encoder. There are two inputs that can be assigned dynamically to control parameters in the user interface. The CV input can be assigned to sliders the pulse input toggles parameters on and off. The DSpec user interface is organized as a set of pages and is navigated using the uh, rotary encoder. The two most important pages are the algorithm page and the quantization page. This next clip is a live demonstration of the user interface. Switching now to the quantization page. And now a look at the visual. 
visuals page.